This is a propagation process called budding to generate a new shoot from the parent stock of a cocoa seedling. It's a delicate process and requires special materials such as budding tapes and knives. It's an initial step of producing clone seedlings that can withstand the CPB infestation. But six years ago, Stephen Pice ventured into a new budding technique. He called it low-cost budding where he uses plastic ice block bags and a kitchen knife to bud seedlings in his nursery. This ice block plastic na kiwi knife and me at me been trying. We try 20 seedlings na behind me cut him now and all get him strike out na me sing out in bad ice block me long come me line him this technique. Stephen comes from Buin in the autonomous region of Bougainville, a region that has recently gained popularity for producing large volumes of cocoa in the region. He began using the cheap items after realizing that small older farmers can't afford to buy budding tapes and knives from the hardware stores as the prices are too high. In 2014, he began experimenting this new technique with 20 seedlings and the outcome was satisfactory and his innovation has now been used in almost all the cocoa producing areas in the autonomous region of Bougainville. This is technique now I'm stop all get up Bougainville kiwi knife na asphalt plastic. Today his effort and innovation has been recognized. Stephen is part of a group of six lead trainers from the autonomous region of Bougainville who have traveled to East Newbiton to share their innovation with farmers in the province. Suppose me play go farm set or egg mark. Me play spending big plan money lo buying more this budding tape, a budding knife. So suppose you compare him this la by looking more same. I think for kina taso la me play again spending this la for kina lo buying over 600 uh, seedlings when me play again come up him lo. The new budding technique has cut down the cost of producing clone cocoa seedlings. A clone seedling may cost about 3 kina 50 at a nursery. But Stephen says if farmers use ice block plastic bags and a kitchen knife, the price will be equivalent to just about 1 kina per seedling. I need long, long, go long. Commissioner buy more clones long, 3 kina keep here. Now transport cost to and by costing all big plumon. Initially, the Productive Partnership in Agriculture Project or PPAP, a World Bank funded project, have invested millions of kina in farmers to bring back the cocoa industry that has suffered extensive damages from the cocoa port borer, and most of its projects have produced significant results. But for Stephen, he says such projects like PPAP won't last. When the project is over, individual farmers will be left alone to deal with their own cocoa blocks and such innovation of low-cost budding is one of many innovations that smallholder farmers can build on. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.